Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Silly P. This is The Lost Corner. This is a new mod map out by Design Farming and Miss Click. It's 182.199 megabytes to download. The map looks like this. Now, there's a lot of things that need to be bought for a lot more icons to pop up. So what I'm going to do in a second, I'm just going to put some uh, money in put some government subsidies signs down skip ahead a little bit time wise and then we'll look at putting them all in this is how it looks to start off with there's a lot of fields lots to be going on on new farmer we start with a farm area just down here which is where we start just across the road from here field 114 field 86 field 141 those are what we start with field prices to be fair start off very very cheaply for these small plots like 13 grand and you know 22 they work their way up on the outer edges we've got some of the larger ones and then the bigger fields are down to the south the most expensive ones being here at 852 572 so even the big fields aren't mega expensive uh, we have got a few forestry plots knocking around the map as well so yeah as far as prices and things go it's not too bad uh, contracts are available on the map and there are 100 collectibles to collect as well we're going to talk about slot count when we get into the main farm area. So if you have a look now and see where the areas are. Hang on, let's come off that. Let's go on to the area we've got. There we go. Um, so that's what we start with. When you see it again in a minute, we're going to have a lot more blue on here. As you have also just seen, though, if I click on here, the verges, the periphery of the map, the river section, roadways, roundabouts, and a lot of the points where there are sell points, you can buy for zero. doesn't cost you anything on top to buy that. You can buy all that for zero, which will help with placeables and things like that if you want to put them on. I'm going to take that off for a moment because it'll make it a little bit easier to see the plots we've bought as we go around the map. Now, um, we do start here with a wardrobe. This is not the sleep trigger. This is just a wardrobe. If we cross the road into the main farm area, a new farm you start with, and we've got the chicken icon. I will say that going around the map, a lot of the actual icons, the discs on the map, don't match up with the actual um, the visual of the map. Some do. If you look there, you've got the chicken icon there, but our actual disc is there. Some of them are offset a little bit, but if you just put this window on, the help window, it helps a little bit. So chickens here, 150. Your feed trigger... Is just there I haven't been able to find where the oh hang on oh, there we go and um, that's where your egg boxes pallets are going to spawn as far as slot count on all three game modes new farmer farm management start from scratch is 1552 um, I did come on to here and sell the vehicles and sell the barns and buildings at this main farm area and the slot count came down to 1,360 1, you might be able to get it a little bit lower than that there are a couple of silos and things knocking around further around the map um, so yeah I mean that's kind of a ballpark 1,360 but you can get a little bit lower there are also three additional crop types on the map we've got fodder mustard durham wheat and spring barley if we go into our menu here and we look to crop types over to the right, over there you'll see the bottom three on there, Durham wheat, spring barley and fodder mustard. Now as far as I can tell, looking at the equipment and machinery that's in the, the store menu, now there's nothing modded being put in by the map maker. Durham wheat and spring barley you can you harvest and sell as a regular crop. The fodder mustard I think is a cover crop because I can't find any piece of equipment or machinery that takes it. None of the trailers take it. Um, the head harvester headers, nothing like that shows that it will. And none of the sell points show fodder mustard. So as far as I can tell, the fodder mustard is um, a cover crop, a little bit like the oil seed radish. Um, as far as then, if we go into build mode, we have got quite a few sheds and buildings modded put in. Just because I think they're dotted around the map, so there's a few of those. Silos, if we come out to the NT, you see the ones under there that say Lost Corner. Uh, we've got a few silos. There's a manure heap there, which is kind of an open manure heap. It hasn't got sides to it. Um, it's a little bit difficult to see. There we go. You can see a little bit better. Um, if we go to... Hang on. Uh, there wasn't anything under silo extensions, container tools or farmhouses. Production. Now, it does say uh, we've got a biogas plant there. We'll talk about that later when we get to it. Uh, it does say 
where are we factory base available all production also added pasta production one of the production chains buildings the grain mill when we get to that has the ability to um it does durham wheat as flour and you can make pasta up there as well but that's not showing in here as a placeable building as far as i can tell that's fixed in place um selling points i don't think there were any greenhouses orchards generators nothing on there uh, animals we do have some modded animal pens i think it's down to the, the fee they take maybe weirdly that one there for 254 grand does 45 cows this modded one only does 25 cows so it's been modded but modded down not up uh, and then we go into horses we've got some pastures pigs we've got a one on the end there sheep we haven't got anything chickens no bees no then under decoration we didn't have anything but it was landscaping that stood out to me nothing under trees and plants but painting look at all the textures we've got a couple of asphalts cobblestones concrete we've got these concrete like almost slab ones smaller slab larger slabs and different colors quite a few different dirt and forest textures we then move on to this animal mud there we go gravels animal mud it, there's loads as we go through here i think far more <laughs> far more than i think i've seen than any others um they're all textures that are available on this map now i'm also looking to see the fence posts here I, oh no, there's barbed wire fencing in there. Um, I, I couldn't remove it. If I go into build mode, go on to landscape and go to demolish, I, I couldn't get any of the fences to disappear. And there are quite a few fences around the map. Let's turn that off. What we'll also do now is talk about what equipment you start with. So for your 1,552 slots under medium tractors, we've got a Deutzfire 8280 TTV JCB Fast Track 4220. We've got a New Holland CH770 Harvester. We have got the uh, Farasin uh, self propelled feed mixer. Some of these do have that's full. We'll go around and look at that in a minute. That's actually got total mix ration in it already. Uh, we've got a couple of trailers, a couple of Brantners, headers, corn headers. We've got a cultivator, Lemkin. We've got a power harrow, cedar, planter, sprayer, and sprayer tank on the front. We've got a uh, straw chopper, straw spreader, and we've got a liquid tank. That's also full, I think, of water. Front load of tools, front load of attachers, weights, header trailer, and then we've got one of these, the Amazon T-Pack U for turning of vehicles, etc. So a fair bit of gear, most of which you'll find in here, but not all, but headers, Deutzfar, I think we've got the Warrior version, yeah. Cedars, planters, sprayers, cultivator, it's all in this barn building here. We'd also start with a silage clamp and it's because the sun's directly there, that's why the lighting seems a bit off. We do start with a load of hay bales, a load of straw bales, and if we cut across the, to there, or actually we'll go around, we've got a load of silage bales already unwrapped, sitting there, ready to go. So we've got silage bales. So everything you need to start off with, really, for making Termix ration. The water tanker does have 8,000 litres of water in it. This is your manure heap. So like I said, it doesn't, it's not showing as anything, but your manure will pile up there if you've got it placed. Slurry comes out of that end. And then we've got our feed mixer, self-propelled in here. And as it says there, top mix ration, 26,000 litres. It's full. If we hop in, you'll be able to see the top there. We've got a load of top mix ration in it. And this cow pen will do... How many was this? This was 25. So this was one of the modded ones at 25 cows. JCB's out here with the straw blower. What I'm going to do is detach from that. Detach from that. And what we're going to do, the route round is quite a weird one, and you'll see as we go. We've got a lot of points on the map. If we zoom out, these lines here aren't roads. So these ones here in the middle, they're like escarpments. That's raising or lowering of the landscape. So we kind of come across here. We drop down into this river basin here. So the river runs along here. And then we've got another escarpment that runs across here, which takes us back up. So it's not a gradual slope up. We've got a kind of escarpment. So driving around the map's going to be a curious one. What we're going to do now is put some money in. If we look across the fields here, at the moment there are no triggers, 
momentarily there will be um, and you'll see why so with some money put in I'm gonna go back to the map and what I will do is now show you if we come down to here and we click on that one buy that plot that one 53,000, sorry I didn't say how much the other one was, how much was that one? 44,304, if we come down to that one, 99,918, this sliver here, uh, we then go up to, where was it? That one there, 73,008, um, that one's the biogas plant, Buying that will get you the biogas plant for only 119,626. I'll do that while I'm there. Uh, we've got that plot there. <laughs> that plot there. There was one of these. That plot there. That one there. I don't think it was either of those. I'm trying to look down. There was a little sliver there. And if we go down and back up again, you'll now see we've got cow pasture, cow, well, that's our main cow farm we were just at. Cow pasture, cow pasture, cow pasture. She, uh, sorry, pig pen. Then we come up here. We'll go to all of these. We've got chickens up here. Then we've got the biogas plant we just looked at. If we come down here, we've got another sheep pen there. We've got horses here. We have got up here uh, more pigs and chickens. We come across, we've got uh, another cow pasture there. Chickens and sheep over here. Uh, what was the other ones? I think that might have been it. I'm pretty sure that's all the points we need to buy. So if we now look at the map, if you remember what it was before, with just the main farm area just here, and that field, that field, and that field, we've now got all of these points, which are points you need to buy for access and also for the icons to come up on the map if you want to you don't have to of course they're there and like i said they're kind of hidden slots really the pastures aren't so much because you can't actually get rid of them now one of these fences yeah there's no collision for walking through the fences the fences do open this horse this horse pasture this cow pasture will do 70 i think all three of these do we'll go right across i'm gonna have to be super speedy getting around the rest of the map We've got water troughs, feed troughs. Now actually what I'm going to do is, where's our trigger? There we go. I'm going to put a cow in. Let's go with that. Uh, so this one will do 70 as well, of which we now have one. But what I wanted to show you was, we go down to our here, to our pastures. As you can see, you get milk. But because it's a pasture, there's nowhere to put straw in, so you won't get manure, and you won't get slurry from this either. The pastures are literally, you put the cows out, you feed them, you water them, and you will get your milk, but you won't get the slurry, and you won't get the manure from these. They are full-on cow pastures. So we go past this one, I'll jump the fence, and we'll go to the pig pen, which is down here, which is actually right next to the sawmill. So we'll go take in the sawmill at the same time. So the pig pasture, which is just down here, we'll open this one up. Click on the animal dialogue box, we'll just grab a pig, it doesn't matter which one. Come back out and we'll go down to that one. You'll see the same there, uh, although that does say slurry and straw. Uh, oh yeah, so yeah, we got slurry points just there. So you can put your pigs into this one, whilst it is a pig pen, it's kind of an open pasture. See, look, they've got plenty of room to move about. These are much more open pastures than we're kind of used to on a lot of maps. Water troughs there. Oh, sorry, feed troughs there. What's there? Whichever way around. That might be for the bedding. Uh, and you can put, you probably have a bit, I'll put um, a manure heap in this one as well. So this is for your pigs. Collectibles, you'll see them as we go around the map. You'll get a grand for your collectibles. Sawmill's just here, and we come out the back of the sawmill. That's a standard price, I think it's 100,000 for the sawmill under your production chains. And then we come out and come across up the road, there'll be the next cow pasture. Weirdly, this one only does, I'm sure it's something like five. It's not a huge amount, actually. Oh, eight, this one. This one does eight, and it's a weird kind of shape sliver on the map and the next it we've got a place balls point i did go around a couple of things thinking is there any required mo or are there any required mods that i'm supposed to be putting in here there's nothing listed 
I just think they are placeable points. So if we come up to the map, uh, you'll see we did the main farm area, did the cow pen, we've done the, the cow pastures, pig pen, sawmill, and see that's showing us a building. That's um, it's really got me bothered. There's nothing saying that it requ there's any required mods. So yeah, I'm not sure. At the moment, it's just showing us a wide open area, and this is the sort of let's say strange shaped pasture. Um, yeah, bit of an odd one that. Anyway, heading on from here, we're going to go back to the JCB. As you can see, there's a lot of fences this end. They're not everywhere, but there are a lot of fences on the map. And like I said, I haven't been able to remove them. Just kind of make a little bit of movement around the map. As, as well as the escarpments, i found. One, it makes the map feel a lot bigger. But it, it, um, it prevents you cutting across the map. There aren't lots of tracks and, and trackways and stuff and ways of cutting across the map. So uh, that may be something that for some people they don't like or don't like it, you know. Everyone's different in what you um, prefer from a map type. So from here we're going to head in, take these in first. We do have a workshop trigger. Now I thought this was the main machinery store initially, because on the map it's showing a basket. Uh, we do have a gas station or at least a refuelling point directly ahead of me at the back of the plant, of the uh, point just here. And just over here we've got a workshop trigger. This is not a vehicle store, this is just a workshop trigger. Big open area, and I think this is part of the, the periphery of the map, so you could put placeables on here, and there's plenty of room for placeables. And that's a theme you'll kind of see as we go around the map. We have got the Fromage de Lune cheese dairy just over there. If we go from here and turn left down here, we've got the grape processing unit which is just there, tucked away, just jump out very quickly, great processing unit, tucked away behind there, and then we've got, I, I do like it with this map as well, but I probably I'm thinking what I'm going to use for the thumbnail, there's a lot of kind of building work going on, a lot of this kind of things, that have, um, it just gives it a, an immersive feel, like there's stuff going on, you know, debris crusher here as part of the building site, on the map it kind of shows us housing, so I'm assuming that's what it's going to be and then if we come just out of here and round the fencing we've got the pizzeria just to our left hand side so what we're going to do is head out like I said the route rounds it's a bit of an odd one but it's we'll get around it. it'll be fine stick with me we'll be okay so heading kind of north west ish the map is, like I said, apart from the escarpments, uh, it's pretty much flat. With some really interesting fields. There's up here where you haven't got any of the fencing, if you remove trees and stuff, there's no reason at all where you shouldn't be able to blend fields together, merge them, plough them together. If we come through here, we have got two cell points. Yes, we have. Uh, so we are coming up on just lost it. This is Lime Station, just there. So Lime Station and a sell point. The sell point is sell the farmer. I don't know if you'd be selling the farmer, but you it's definitely a sell point. That's just tucked in there. And then from here we're going to just cut through the undergrowth to find a route through. I was, I was trying to do it as uh, efficiently as possible. Cut through here. Let's carry on. So. I say it does look quite cool with all the mountains around it as well. Round the roundabout, why is this a train? Can't make up as my is going. So this is one of the points uh, you need to buy for the icons to come up. Now obviously the buildings are here, um, but again this is a slightly odd one in that. So we have come all the way around here, did the pizza room and stuff, the building site, came up here to the line point and the sell the farmer. We've now come up here. So this is one of the points we need to buy. Um, and whilst the chicken thing is showing there, the actual, sorry, the actual dialogue box is there. So chickens here, 150. We've got a silo. This is one of the modded ones. This is the silo 
which one is it? It's 8 million litres. They all show on the map. Forgotten, I didn't write it down. Just thought it was. The NL16 22 8000. So that's an 8 million litre capacity building. And then these buildings are usable. We have got a workshop trigger just in there as well. We've got a jet wash there to be used. Barns and building space. We've got our feed trigger for the chickens just here. Now, a lot of the feed triggers are hidden in the grass. I don't think you can just see that. There's a little trough there. And I think the points for the eggs to spawn is just over here. So we've got more barn and building space. Again, this is one of those points that when you've bought this, I didn't I didn't sell anything on here, but you can sell stuff on here to either use it as a placeable point or get your slot count down if you're not going to use it or you don't want another silo here or you know. So you have got some options. If we go into our landscaping, go to demolish. So you can sell all the bits, including the silo, if you wanted to. Uh, to free up slots or you know or just use it for something else that would of course be entirely your prerogative so continuing on see looking down the left of the map you think oh okay I, I thought I'll do the next um, sail points along here but they are down the escarpment and along the river sort of the river basin we'll get to those later on I'm going directly across now what we do have here and I did buy this this is part of the periphery to our right we've got like an events place um, there's nothing on there, but it's a tractor-pulling arena. If you wanted to do a storyline along those lines, um, I did off-camera buy the plot to see if there was any triggers or anything on there. But it's more of just to kind of um, just to add a bit of flavour and colour to the map. I think that's what we're looking at. If we turn down here, we come to the biogas plant. Now that plot I said I bought was it 119,000. I think the biogas plant itself is is worth. 1.1 million or something it's, it's worth a fair bit but this is one of those maps where you buy the plot of land and you get the biogas plant so we do have access to it now I've purchased it loads of storage space and shelter space in here two large silage clamps to our right and our biogas plant now this is a standard ish biogas plant I think it only runs at 24 cycles as you can see if we click on it because I bought the land we've got it we've got access to it um, yeah they're all 24 I mean, obviously the recipes are slightly different, but actual um, cycles per month is 24. So that's your biogas plant. We've got another gate coming out here. Stop. There's a lot of people at that event space. They're uh, obviously excited about the tractor pulling. From here. I should continue along. So we're at the northern part of the map, the northern escarpment, we'll call it. We will come back along all that in a little while. It's, I think it's, like I say, so it's a reason why the map does feel very big. We can get down there from here, but it, I just, it wasn't the most efficient route round I could think of for doing the map tour. It would have involved a bit of toing and froing, which I'm going to have to do a little bit anyway, but not horrendously. So continuing on now apologies if i have missed any plots if there are any, any bits of land that i was i was supposed to buy that i've got things on i do apologize but we've got our cereal factory just there we have got our biomass heating plant just there another crane well, i assume there's some building going on and some collectibles if we go along here now that plot there you can buy for placeable storage again add to whatever storyline narrative you're doing and also this plot here so this was one of the other plots we bought let's go back to where we were so I can show you where we've been this is one of those maps that's quite kind of complicated we've come up here around the top by the event space down past the biogas plant we're now up past here cereal factory and biomass um, and we've come into this so this plot here was 46,150 and once you've purchased it, you get the icons come up for chickens, pigs. We've got a silo over the back there. And I don't know if that's a manure heap. Um, chickens, this one does, 150. Pigs, how many pigs was there? 70, I think it was. Feed point there. Yep, 70 pigs. We've got a silo here. This is... This is one of the flat-bottomed 3609 silos, and that's 1.5 million litres of capacity on that. We come across here, 
we've got again the trough for feeding the chickens is just hidden in the grass there so that's your feed point and the point for egg pallets to spawn where was it i think it might have been over here yeah i think it's this all over there three garages to store stuff slurry out there and if you want to get your um manure from your pigs you're gonna have to put in a manure point like i said there are there are um or there is a modded one that we've kind of already looked at so backing out of here must be nice living in these buildings with a pig a pig farm right behind you probably gets a little bit whiffy in the summer so moving on from here we have got the industrial silo cell point coming up it looks a little bit like the biomass heating plant from elm creek and there's a weird kind of track next to it and I, I wondered again whether that was something specific to it i think it's just a track i think it's just again been put on to add a bit of a uh, bit of flair to the map so there's a little trackway over there but around here we've got another cell point this is the uh, industrial silo cell point we come through and out the other side again a bit more crane work going on from here we've got another plot that you need to buy if you want access to it and it's this one to the right here that's another cow pasture so we've come along from here industrial silo sale point so this plot here was 40,066 uh, that cow pasture will hold look to my list 10 cows in that one if you want to put 10 cows in there take them out and let them go to pasture and then we've got a couple of little forestry bits and between that we've got another plot you can buy to get the, the triggers and stuff to come up we'll swing around to there again more barn and building space plenty going on we've got another silo uh, this one is one of the it's the silo firm silo firme 450,000 litre but again this plot needs to be purchased for those to come up this plot will cost you 69,862 go back on there you'll see you've got the silo there and then we've got chickens free wheeling just means it's open open plan um, and then the sheep pasture so we'll just move this around there pop that there so chickens 150 feed point is just there and i think the egg pallets will spawn there and then just inside here, we've got a sheep pen, pasture. This will do 150 sheep. You've got your water point there. And your feet. Oh, actually, that might be for the wall pallets. Where's my egg box pallets? That's a good point, actually. They do seem to be kind of randomly spread around. They're not right by where, or not anywhere you think, not anywhere obvious. Let's just put it that way. Actually, what I'm going to do, yeah, if you're going to keep your sheep, you're going to want to get your wool, aren't you? So there's got to be a wool spawn point, hasn't there? Let's just hop into there. Let's grab a sheep. Oh, there it is over there. Go back to our menu, scroll down to our animals, and we're going to have a look at there. Yeah, productivity, water, wool. So one of these is going. That's either going to be for wool or it's going to be for egg boxes. And whichever one that is, the other one they're going to spawn somewhere. I can't see a hazard marked area. Anyway, it's got a scorpion. It has to be around somewhere. Just can't see it. Now I'm going to cut across a little bit here. Oh no, not yet. I'm not got some sale points to do then we will swing out of there cut across the bottom of the van now we're going to come to some purchase points the first two are purchase points then the rest are sale points i think so to our right there we've got a purchase point for solid fertilizer to the left here we've got liquid fertilizer and herbicide purchase point that's just there as we come through now these are tricky to i say tricky 
some of the, the actual icons aren't showing. So liquid input purchase and input purchase. So that's your solid fertilizer. That's your liquid fertilizer and herbicide. That one there is silo farmer. Now that one is this bit here and there's not a disc showing. So silo farmer. And then this one, uh, one was silo farmer and one was farmer's silo. And they take different things. So one trigger's there, one trigger's there. And then this one over here is farm silo lime. <laughs> They're all on here. Uh, if we go down to there. You see top right, uh, farmer's silo and sell the farmer there on there. And as we come down, different things appear at different ones. Uh, where are we? Sell the farm industrial silo. There, yeah, they're all there. So if you just scroll down, you'll find which things you can sell at which ones. There's all. Oh, there's so much uh, kind of on top of each other, really here. So from here, I'm going to cut across the ground a little bit, and I'll show you on the map why. We are currently here, and we need to be getting down off the plateau. So it means going down there, around there, and we're going to head up the river basin. Then we're going to cross over, and then we're going to come back down and taking all these ones there's there's quite a few more so from here i've kind of got a car across and we can drive around but i'm, I'm going to cut across so okay so we're heading down now we've just come off that little bit of escarpment i do like the bridges across it's very ornate and the lighting is great the color palette works well um it's got a lot of detail like i said with the cranes and stuff earlier there's a lot of really nice little touches thrown in there's one we're going to have a look at later on. We've got a little bit of a drive here before we get to the next point, but it gives us a chance to have a little bit more of a look at the scenery. I'm very conscious of time. So, just off to our left there, we've got another point. Did I not buy that one? Maybe not. Let's swing over and stop. We'll go to the map. No, I didn't. Uh, so we are currently there. That's There we go. That plot there is 35,906. Sixth. Go down and back up. So we've got a horse pasture just over there. Uh, that one will hold 16 horses. Continuing on. We've got the oil mill on our left hand side. And duck down a little, say alleyway. Um, just tucked in behind that building, just see that icon there. That's the farmer's store sell point, just tucked in there. And then around the back here, we've got the lost house. The lost house is also a sell point just around behind it. And I think that one is like a barn sell point for bales, straw and hay and stuff like that. That's just tucked in there. And then another point you'll need to buy for another pasture. They are all over the map. And like I said, I don't think I've come across a map with so many pastures to buy. This one here, so we came from there, we come along here, round there, we're now here. This little pasture here will set you back 44,330. Uh, that sheep pasture will hold 150. And again, we've got our dialogue box there, uh, water and feed trigger. I'm not sure though, again, this is another one where. where spawn points will be for wool oh there we go there's that one straight forward maybe the other one had one and i just missed it anyway from here so we're on the northern side of the river at the moment we'll go south south of the river in a minute it's always dodgy heading south of the river that's where all the gangsters hang out carpentry it's just around behind here And then from the carpentry, we are going to go to... Ah, right, now, this bit here, so we're at carpentry. We go along here, and the road runs out of this little forest. Uh, the grain mill is a little bit, again, like the one on Obeleron. 
where you've got a crossing, although the crossing is having a lot of building work done. You can see the cranes there, so we can't get across there. I'm going to whiz back to the bridge and we will carry on from the bridge. I will see you there momentarily. So as I turn down here, before we get to the bridge, and I'll show you where we are, we've got the livestock market, animal dealer. Now that's not actually showing up on the map. So we've come back down here, round here, we're at the bridge. So this point here, this is where I am, that's where the livestock market is, animal dealer, but there's nothing showing on the map for it. Um, and that's part of the, uh, if you buy the periphery of the map. Actually, what I'll do, let's get that now, it's not going to cost me anything. I'm pretty sure the icon... Yeah, what happened there? Yeah, the icon's still not showing up. But that's where it is. The livestock market is just on the northern side of the bridge. Got a little bit of a boating accident happening there. We've got gas station just across the road there. And this is the vehicle store. This is also the reset point. So if you need to reset a vehicle for any particular reason, you can do it here. We have got the purchase point just there. Well, the workshop trigger just there and like I said this is the reset also from here we're going to follow the river but on the southern side up towards the grain mill I'm not quite sure how they, these rocks have appeared there it's not like there's been a rock fall I don't know how that's anyway some big old rocks there in the road start to see the, uh, the cranes looming so we come up on the grain mill and this is one of the points of the map I, I think for me this might be my thumb now actually I'm just thinking I really I just love the detail everything that's going on here so we just pull in here so this grain mill once purchased if we go around the outside to purchase it purchase price is standard for a grain mill let's purchase it we come back out and then go down to our production chains you'll now see you can do wheat flour barley flour oat flour sorghum flour and durham wheat which is an extra crop type on here um, but you can also do durham wheat is it uh, is it goit goit zini or goit goit zini i'm terrible i'm sorry for that pasta so you can do a recipe for pasta here with durham wheat and eggs and you can do pasta coming out so flour or pasta coming out of there if you want to nice addition and like i said if you come around you can actually get across like you can know better on. You've got all this building work going on, the cranes. And, yeah, just, I just really like it, I think, like I say. It's a nice touch. Now, I haven't spoken about sleep trigger yet. That's because, weirdly, where you start, where the wardrobe is, is not where your sleep trigger is. Your sleep trigger is up here by the river. So there's your sleep trigger. You've got a little jetty there. You can go out, there's a little deck chair on the end. You can watch the river go by. Um, and then this is the restaurant. It is the restaurant sale point, it's just there. Then heading under the bridge, which we went over a little while ago, we come to the, what well, it says southern, well, it's south of the river, I suppose, the southern spinning mill. So this is your spinnery. Dump your stuff off there, and your trigger there for the production chains is just there. What we're going to do now is go back to the map, and I'll show you. So we cross the river, we've done these here, we've come up here, Taking the grain mill, sleep trigger, restaurant, southern spinning mill. What we're going to do now is I'm going to drive all the way back down to there. At this point, we're going to take a detour round and we're going to take in the last of the sale points um, and the last of the animal pastures that you need to buy. Um, I keep saying you need to buy. If you want the triggers to come up, if you want them to show on the map, um, and if you want to use those for the animal pens that are on there, then you need to buy them. They're just not owned when you start. So, coming back past the rock fall, we're going to take this little detour to the south. This point here has a chicken, well, open chicken pen and two sheep. No, not two sheep, two horse pastures. So this point here, to buy that, is 98,774. And you'll see here, we can do 80 chickens at this one. We've got a point there for egg pallets to spawn and the trough for feeding the chickens is just here in the grass. And we come over here, we've got first of our, or here, horse pastures. This will do eight and then the one next to it will do 
16, I think it was. Yep, 16, just there. But again, this is one of those plots now I've purchased it. If I come across, go to there, go to demolish. We can take them out if you want to and you can use the land for something else. If you, if you don't do horses or you're doing horses elsewhere and you don't want to have too many horses to exercise, if, you know, especially when you're playing on console, um, then you know, sell the bits off and you can put something else on them if you wanted to. From here then. You can just see there. We've got the bakery. We'll drive up and through it, around it. Now, you might notice the trigger is a little bit... It may get an uptake because the trigger is sitting about two feet off the ground. Foot, foot or so off the ground. But anyway, that's your bakery. Production chain could be a sell point, but... Um, it's like this stuff. Oh, I love it. It's really cool. Uh, off to our left, we've got the tailors. And then from the tailor, we are heading down to the sugar mill. And, like I say, apologies if I have missed something. I don't think I have, but potentially there's always that potential, especially on a map like this when you've got things all over the place. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Traffic is fairly slow. And there's your sugar mill. Now, following that road there, up through those trees, we've got to sweep up the escarpment, which brings us back up and actually not far away from the sort of main village area where we started. If we go back to the map, I'll show you again. So, bakery, tailors, we've come down there, we're now at the sugar mill. If I zoom back out again, we haven't got any sail points to the south there, there's, or the uh, southeast here, there is some forestry. Uh, and obviously the larger fields are down to here as well. If I come up that little sweep there, we come back to the main town when we started, just there. We've done the whole map. There's plenty going on. Um, there's plenty of places for placeables. There's plenty of areas you can sell bits and put placeables. Um, there's a lot of scope for development. Um, it's a nice map. It's well made. And that's it. I hope you found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.